So this morning I uh, presented uh, an update on the findings from the PROTECT trial. And just to give you an idea of the background, the uh, management of early PSA detected prostate cancer has been very controversial for many years. And the treat there were many uncertainties about the treatment effectiveness of early, early detection and whether to treat it with surgery or radiotherapy uh, or whether simply to observe the patients. So in order to uh, test the treatment effectiveness, back in 1999, we started to set up a, a randomized control trial. Um, so what we did is we went out to the community and we tested uh, 80,000 men, approximately, um, who came forward. Uh, we invited them for a PSA test, and uh, if the PSA test was elevated, they received biopsies. And uh, the men where we found uh, localized prostate cancer, we invited them to be randomized to either active monitoring, which is a surveillance protocol, surgery in the form of radical prostatectomy, or uh, radiation therapy um, with androgen deprivation uh, in a neoadjuvant setting. So we did a feasibility trial first, which showed that we can do it, and then we did the main trial, which we started in 2001 and completed in 2009. And um, the primary endpoint was to look at the uh, median 10-year disease-specific uh, mortality, all-cause mortality is a secondary endpoint, and patient-reported outcomes. So we reached the 10-year median in November 2015, and we published our first findings uh, a year ago, uh, two publications in the New England Journal of Medicine. And what we showed is that at 10-year median follow-up, um, there were no differences in disease-specific or all-cause mortality in men treated with uh, in the three arms. And the disease-specific mortality was low, around 1%. The all-cause mortality was 10%. But what we did demonstrate is that in men who received radical treatment, we were able to reduce the incidence of metastasis and disease progression by 50%. So 80% of the men who had uh, active monitoring had no disease progression, but 90% of uh, the ones who had received treatment had uh, no disease progression. And um, uh, so these were the first results.